Oh, well, good morning. I forgot you were here. Mm. What happened? Why am I here? Oh, you must have forgotten what happened last night. Okay, well, you were really sleep deprived. And that's an understatement. You could barely walk at all. I had to help you dumbass into bed. Okay, at least tell me that you remember the party last night. Yeah. Yeah, that one. We were both at that party. It went on for hours into the night until we bumped into each other. After that, we had a bit of a chat. And you were way too tired to drive. So, being the nice guy that I am, I did that for you. But you were not going to budge from my truck at all. <laughs> you were passed out. I don't think there would be anything that could wake you up. So, I had to haul your ass into your bed. I managed to get you to hold on to me. So I carried you, like a baby, into your bedroom. <laughs> and when I went to set you down, you just wouldn't let go. Did you know what you said? <laughs> you sounded like such an idiot. You said, No, I don't want to let go. You're too warm. But... I wouldn't want someone like you to keep holding on to me. So, I kept trying and trying to make you let go. But you just wouldn't. I was way too tired to keep on trying. So, I said, would cuddling with me make you go to sleep? And you just mumbled, mm-hmm. So, I just laid down holding you. And here we are. Okay, don't tell anyone this, but... <clears throat> you were really cute when you were asleep. Yes, I do mean it. Moron? Why do you think I would be lying about that? Why? Well... You were like... Squeezing me and nuzzling your head into my chest. Like a kitten. <laughs> now you're embarrassed? You really have no right to be. I was the one that let you. And I also enjoyed it. So don't hide your face. Even though that is also adorable. You were just too tired to think clearly, so you just said the very first thing that came to your mind. Which, I guess, was how I was so warm and cozy when I was cradling you. <laughs> hey, look. So, I know that we don't really get on the right foot sometimes. Sometimes I tease you or pick on you. Okay. Alright, alright. Yeah, most of the time I pick on you. But that's just because... Well, it's mostly because you deserve it, you little gremlin. <laughs> but it's not the only reason I do it. I also do it because we don't really talk much. So I try to make the most of it when we do talk. Try to... I don't know. Make fun of you. It isn't the best thing to do, but... It's kind of cute 
the look you give every time I do, whenever I tease you. Oh, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You always blush whenever I'd walk up to you and call you a cute little munchkin. You might think it's a joke, but I really do think you're that. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know what I see in you. After all this time, I just kind of took a liking to you. What? <laughs> Whatever. I'm only saying this because I'm a nice person. Don't call me that again. I am not. Mm -hmm. I am not sweet, okay? I'm supposed to be that mean guy at school, everyone knows. But whenever I'm around you, I just, I just can't help it. <laughs> hey, look at me. Wow. Never really noticed how beautiful your face is. <laughs> yeah. I've always made fun of you, but damn was I wrong. Hey, hey. Since I helped you get into bed, is this all mine? This gorgeous face? <laughs> there we go. Look at how adorable that little face is. You look so cute right now. I just wanna... Mm. <laughs> wow, not only are you a cute sleeper, you want a hell of a kisser too. I think that is definitely worth it for bringing you back home. It was tough, you know. Getting your stupid ass out of my truck. It looked like you just weren't going to leave. But I found a way eventually. So, um, how about we cuddle for a little while longer? Then we can go out and have some ice cream? Sounds good? Yeah, good. Oh, and just because I find you cute doesn't mean that I won't make fun of you. <laughs> Such a dork. <laughs>